So I've read through the comments. I've listened to everybody. They've all said, you're wrong. Your formula's wrong. You're doing it wrong. That's not correct. I've been listening. And you know what? You're right. I want to go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so here it is. A little while ago, last season, I created a video that would help tell people how long it's going to take to fill their pool by using a formula. This has been out for a while, and let me tell you, it's really, really close. So it's not like you're getting total bogus information, but it may not be point on. I mean, I admit, I'm not no math magician or anything, uh, but it was what I had uh, come up with. And when I originally did the video, I only gave the formula for rectangle pools, square pools, and those type of sorts, which is accurate. Then people came on the video and said, you know, that's not right. Circular pools, you're going to be 20 or 30 percent off. This could mess up your chemical input. And I said, oh, huh, you're right. So I went ahead and adjusted it. You can go right now to easyclearpool.com slash fill calculator. And if you enter those fields and click round, you're going to get the correct formula. The video of the past video, which I'll put up here, may not give you the exact formula, but in the uh, description and comments, a link is there, that will take you towards the correct formula. The site's also going to be updated in the coming days so that it all reflects the correct formula if it hasn't been when you look at it. Uh, but the formula for determining how much water is in your pool for a circular pool. What is it? I'm going to give it to you. It's pretty simple, actually. It is pi times the radius square times the average depth, which there isn't many above ground pools that it's not the same all the way across. I do know someone, though, that dug out part of it, and it they do have a deep end. So it's possible. And uh, times 7.5. So 3.14 times the radius square times the average depth, times 7.5. That is going to get you the a volume of water that is in your pool. Now, right now I'm sitting out here with my soft tub, which uh, if you've seen any of my videos, you may have seen me in this one. This is, uh, uh, just got out of it actually, because it's so weird. It's rained every day and we're almost to June and we haven't even hit 85 degrees yet. So, it is what it is. It's still hot tub time. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and calculate how much water is in this little guy uh, right here. Uh, basically, I've measured it, and this is 50 inches in diameter uh, all the way across. Uh, so how do you determine the radius? Well, the radius is going to be halfway, but we could just divide that by 2 and that will give us 25. But I want to do it in feet to make everything simpler. We're going to call it two feet radius. It would basically be 48 inches diameter. We're going to call it two foot radius. The depth I uh, measured the water is one and a half inches. Right at 18 inches as a matter of fact where the water lies in here. That's another thing you want to keep in mind. When you're measuring or trying to determine how much water is in your pool, you probably need to remove in a larger pool four inches or so. They're usually only about 90% full, so if they say you're getting a 48-inch pool in depth, you're probably, when it's full, getting closer to 48 inches in depth. Or, that is what they said, 44 to 42 inches in depth is probably more like where the actual water lies. Now, so let's go ahead and figure out how much water is in this soft tub. I done told you, 3.14 times the radius, which it's, we're going to say, four foot across. You divide that by two, because in the center is where uh, you would actually calculate the radius. I'm not going to sit there and try to hold a measuring tape halfway through the pool. We're just going to divide it by two 
from all the way across. That'll give us two. Now, you need to know the radius square. So what is that? That is the radius times itself, multiplied by itself. So if the radius is two and you multiply itself, the radius of two, this is complicated, then you're gonna get four. Now, oddly enough, that is the same as the diameter in this situation, but that's rare and won't happen most of the time. I mean, think about it. If you have a 24 foot pull in diameter across, the radius is 12. Well then, 12 times 12 is 144, so it won't happen most likely. But in this small situation, the radius square is four. The average depth is 18 inches. We're gonna go by feet, so we're gonna do 1.5 feet. Then you're gonna times that, or multiply, by 7.5. We're gonna find out how much water is in this soft tub right now. 3.14 times the radius square, which is four, times the average water depth, which is 1.5 feet, times 7.5. That's right at 141 gallons. And that's what this soft tub is uh, advertised as, is 140. Now, if you measured it all the way to the top, you're going to get a higher number. And <laughs> I've had it filled to the top, so I've had more than 140 gallons in here before. Now, you may ask, what was your odor formula? Was it really that bad? No. And in most cases, and you can check out my video from the, uh, the past, in most cases, you were under 100 gallons off maybe 200 if you had a large pool. Where it really would be off is in a situation like this little guy, where if you're 75 or 100 gallons off, the formula may have said it was only 35 gallons. But in most cases, the, uh, the old formula worked well, and you should have not, you don't have to worry about using it, but to be more pinpoint accurate, 3.14, times the radius square times the water depth times 7.5. Simple. So I'm glad I've cleared that up. We've got the new formula already programmed in the website at easyclearpool.com slash field calculator. Now, when you're filling it in, you can actually skip, if you're using the round pool method, you can skip the uh, second uh, uh, a size because it's only going to do the first 12 and the second one don't even matter. It's going to go ahead and figure it out for you. But you could put it all in anyway. It's not going to affect the answer. Just forget I even mentioned it. But just go ahead and fill out all the fields then. You're going to get the accurate how many gallons is in your pool. We're going to update the website. Hey, whenever you have an issue or say I'm wrong, I'm not no comment hater. I listen. I thank everybody for commenting in the comments. And hey, if you say I'm wrong again, feel free. Comment below. I hope this has uh, made it so that it's transparent to all you guys that this channel needs to be accurate as best as can be. So if something's wrong, I'll come out and say it. If I said something wrong, I'll tell you, you're right. So now that I've corrected myself, please go ahead and if you look on the screen somewhere, you're gonna see a little subscribe button. You know, we're almost to a thousand subs. That's a big landmark. Let me get there, help me get there. Click that subscribe button. Otherwise, huh, you'll miss out on this goofy content in the future. This is Easy Clear Pool from easyclearpool.com. My name is John. I will see you guys in the next video. Happy swimming, everybody.